You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, welcome to the, the awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio. I am your host, Danny Mussolini, if you haven't guessed it already. Well, there are over 34,000 of you guys live with us on the phone line. Some of you guys in the chat room. Uh, Google Hangouts on the browser. What's up? What's up? What is happening? What's cracking? And how you doing? I definitely appreciate you guys as always uh, for rocking with the kid. You know, definitely. Uh, yesterday was pretty rough, um, but you know we powered through. We still did the show, and I uh, appreciate you guys for sending your condolences my way. I definitely appreciate that. All right, so I just want to say that you have the power and the ability to do whatever you want to be. To do whatever you want to do To have whatever you want to have Look at all the things that people have done Built great fortunes Created great works of art uh, Developed incredibly powerful machines Influenced millions with their words And the list is endless There's no limit to accomplishment You were born to do great things Every human accomplishment Has been attempted attained by someone just like you everything that has ever been possible there is uh, there is no such thing as a superman as far as i know it everybody has like the same genetic makeup we're all humans you know everything that has uh, ever been possible is possible for you whatever you can imagine is possible for you yes for you if you are willing to take action if you are willing to do whatever needs to be done are there obstacles? Yes, of course. Um, that's just life. Nothing worthwhile comes easy. In fact, it is precisely the struggle and the challenge that makes anything value. Right now, today, you have a choice. You can sit back, complain about how unfair life is, make excuses for not ever doing anything, and watch the world pass by you. Or you can stand up, step forward, boldly take on each challenge that comes your way and do whatever it takes to make something of your life. Take this from me, Denny Mussolini. That is my word, and word is bud. You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo, hello and welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Music or Inside the Book. Inside the business where we dive into the minds of the people who create marvelous things. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. One time, one time for my people who are indigos, crystalline, or star seeds, or for my vigilantes audience family. And two times for my people who are vegetarian or vegans. If you're like me, we are averaging over 37 thousand live listeners and we've been at this for four solid years i appreciate all you guys who've been rocking with the kid on this journey and we are still evolving baby it is all because of you most definitely we are the people who have dedicated their lives to music spirituality business literature art movies and research in every aspect and we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story man we've had celebrities on our show from grammy award winning artists to nominees, to actors, comedians, CEOs, technology geniuses, visual artists from authors.
authors to professors and aliens or people who think they're aliens. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Come on our show and talk to me. So check it out. To book your interview, or just to share a real cool story, email me at vradio at onlyonemediagroup.com. And that's V as in Victor. I'm passionate about what I do, just as passionate about what you do. And together, yes, together, we can get your voice heard by the people who should hear it. So let's create something incredible. You know the number to dial 701-801-9813 Text that number to your buddy right now And tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests Or you can hop in the mix directly from our website OnlyOneMediaGroup.com Right from the homepage You can slap that go live button And you'll be right here live in the mix And in the chat room with all of us Feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests While they are here But only as time permits Sometimes my guests and I talk entirely too much And we take up the entire hour And as always all episodes are available for free download And you can grab that from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes youtube or any app from the google play or itunes store or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we ever aired well tonight's interview is the e morgan interview and i'm your host denny just in case you didn't uh hear me the first time that i said that anyways <laughs> vigilantes radio our interviews go beyond the music and into the minds of the artists and bands that create it uh, from researching our guests relentlessly mining for details and listening to everything that we can our interviews are designed to bring out the best answers possible through thought provoking questions that have some real substance and with that let's all welcome e morgan to our show tonight Hey brother, you're now live in the midst with all of us. How is it going? What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Thanks for having me. Oh man, I'm doing great, man, and you're welcome, man. We're glad that you're here. No problem. No problem. All right, man. So, man, I mean, dude, you're working on this album. <laughs> yes, sir. I dropped am. this fly video. I did. And yeah. you got this hot record, man. Like, how you feeling, bro? <laughs> um, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm just trying to, you know, live my best life, not letting opinions matter, you know, too much on what I have to do. Um, just out here getting it, you know, writing music, gigging, doing the whole nine yards. Definitely, 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 man. Right. So, you know, with a title like FYO. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> You know, is is forget your opinions. You know, right? Uh, but you know, man, the 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 petty side of me just wanted to say maybe he meant like f your opinion. You know? Yeah. You know, when I see when I first wrote <laughs> the song, you know, I was in a state where I was a little bit a little bit bitter than I am now. And when I did write it, you know, the f had a little bit more of a force. <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, as I went on, you know, for marketing purposes and everything like that, I had to, you know come down a little bit and change that F so it can be more pleasant to all ears. <laughs> so I Definitely. changed it to, to, to forget. Yes, sir. Definitely, man. And, and with so many, like, opinions that come with music, man, uh, everybody has one. You know, I've heard the saying goes, you know, you can't please everyone. Uh, and when you do, they'll still find something to nitpick over. Like, that, I yeah, know that, that can really bother an artist who really values their creations. Was, yeah. was that kind of your, your story there? Yeah, it was. But mine was, I feel like, was more on a deeper level just because, um, just to give a little history about myself, um, you know, music has been a part of me all my life. You know, my mom and, and my father, you know, they both sing. Um, and of course, you know, I started in the church and um, I was really heavy in the church. Um, my mom had me in there. I couldn't really listen to any other kind of genre of music, you know. So, I, you know, I was really heavy in the church. I knew I had a musical gift you know and I used it but you know as getting older and growing with my personality knowing who I am I wanted a little bit more so you know I started branching out to different genres you know and stuff like that to see what my voice can do and I didn't get the best support you know as I wanted from the church of course I didn't get the best support from some of my family members you know so I, I was in a battle where you know am I going to please them or am I going to live for me and I had to write this song not just for a song but for a model so I could stand by so I could live you know by that I'm not going to let people's opinions or should I say fears dictate my decisions definitely man yeah. definitely wow 
So basically, it comes from you you switching genres from gospel <laughs> to uh, what they call secular. Yeah, I say I always if people say gospel or secular. I always say sacred to secular. So I can keep it with S and F. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, I say, brother, do your thing, man. Do oh, your yeah. thing. Because uh, I got a similar background as well. Father's a minister. <laughs> and oh, um, started doing hip hop. And at first it started out with Christian. And it's like, you know, you can only rap about so much. Exactly. And, it's a, and, always and, a box. Right. And, and my life wasn't cookie cutter, even though I was a, a minister's son. I was the prodigal son, like the definition of the prodigal son. And, you know, you got to tell what's yeah. real. Right, exactly, exactly. Gotta applaud you for that, man. Everybody don't do that. <laughs> right, right. And 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 to keep and to keep going at it, you know, even when people say, you know, not to do it and they try to give every kind of accolade of why you you shouldn't do it, you know. So you just gotta you just gotta feel in your heart was right and to keep pushing. Definitely. All yeah. right, so so all right, all right. So let's jump back on track. Uh sorry. Okay. Sorry, no, listeners, you but you that was totally off the meter. It was just I, I just had a special interest in the title of the song, and you know, if it's pounding in the back of my skull, I got to get that question out. So, and you oh, know, E. Morgan's a professional; he can handle it. You know, I can handle the question. When it oh comes yeah. To <laughs> All right. So, thank you so much, my brother, for taking out the time to talk with us here tonight in this interview. I'm really looking forward to what you might. And, uh, you know, we only just started, plus we started pretty heavy. But from what I've learned, read and research, words and the messages are pretty important to the music of E. Morgan. But I suppose just because I've been doing my homework doesn't mean that the world is completely familiar with the full story. So right, right. from your own perspective, what's your music all about? My music all about? Um, hmm, well, I guess you can say it, it, it's kind of chopped up in different areas. Um mostly my music is about i would say love um a big part of my life you know it was church but another big part of my life was relationships and being in love i've been in every type of relationship that you can name out here and i just went through that i wrote from my experiences i wrote you know where is love where it's everlasting love or that love when it's temporary love or that toxic love when you can't leave and you just stay and can't leave so it just so a lot of my things are dealing with love in my music yes sir nice all right so given that what's important to you when you're making your music like what definitely um, make your style I, I, oh go ahead go ahead hmm? uh, you good? i think i think what makes my music important is I have to be able to enjoy what I do. I have to be able to listen listen to it back with enjoyment. Um, you know, the whole creativity, hearing my story, putting it behind the beat, watching it come 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 to life, and not only that, watching somebody else hear it, and they like, oh yeah, that I mess with this joint, and you know, you can see that it kind of brings something out of them, and that's like kind of like one of my uplifting points about making music. Definitely, I like it. I like that. <laughs> so, what what defines your style and sound, and puts your own signature stamp on it? Um, and I'm glad you say that. Um, well, you know, going to school and, like I said, started in gospel and been going to school doing classical, then doing opera, and now doing the world of you know pop and um, R and B. It puts a lot of different genres under my belt. And one thing I like about it, when you hear my music, you know, a lot of times, you know, you hear a certain artist and stuff like that. But when you hear it, you're going to hear, okay, you can tell he had some practical training, had some kind of training, or you can hear a little gospel in it. Or, you know, you can hear a little bit of R&B. Because a lot of places that I have performed and went to, I get different, different vibes from people. You know, I get different oils. And, and, and every oil that they say comes with a different, you know, expertise I have under my belt for all these years definitely wow man a, a, a black guy that has opera training <laughs> right wow. and that, that and that right there and i think opera that that right there kind of like put the whole and the crazy thing about it is that the whole opera thing has what put the stamp on my voice like what what birthed the r&b what birthed the pop was the classical art opera because it allowed me to go to school and allowed me to really educate what my voice can do you know to the to the to the max. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
And you gotta have some power for that, right? You got, you got your power, and not only power, control. Control yeah. is the, the biggest thing. You gotta have, and that's when people. That's what a lot of people say to me on stage. It's like you have major vocal control. Like you get on stage and do you get tired? Is the note every too high for you? I'm like, no, I I have vocal control out of this world. Wow, that finesse. <laughs> I love it. Oh yes. Yeah. Just standing there putting that. <laughs> All right, there you go. He figured it out. Hey, go ahead, brother. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I will not stop you. <laughs> so, tell us about this upcoming album. Um, like, you hope it will be out before the year ends. Uh, it's called yeah, Snakes that's, in the Garden. Yeah, so that's the goal and that's the plan. So, FYO is the leading single up to my first ever full album entitled Snakes in the Garden. Now, this album is very, very special to me. And the reason why I said it is because just the, the title alone, Snakes in the Garden, like, um, I just wanted my first album to be, what can I say, the bridge from sacred to secular. So I have Adam and Eve, you know, symbolizing sacred. And then I have the serpent you know, symbolizing the secular. And then I have um, the grass of the church. And of course, you, the serpent is going to be in the grass and it's going to be around Adam and Eve saying that it's not really a difference. It's not that, not, not that much of a change. So I'm oh. showing the whole bridge over from sacred to secular. So that's why I'm having this album called Snakes in the Garden. Whoa. I like that breakdown. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that man, that can go so many ways when we're so talking many ways. And that's why. And, and that's and that's what I said. I said I, I don't want to lose. I said I don't want to lose all the music that I have built all these years. You know, I still have fans that supported me in the gospel. That still supports me in my shift to R and B and pop. So I want to make sure I still put that feel and that element into my music you know so I can you know won't lose any fans and won't lose any listeners right definitely yeah okay so you said this is your first full length album what have you been doing uh, before this I know you've been touring man you've been a little here a little there you were part of a, a, a band I mean, not a band but a, a what do you want to call that a, I guess yeah, you say that a, a, yeah, 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 I mean, the band, Richmond Ambassador, we called them the Richmond Ambassador of Song, but it was like kind of like a band. Um, and I um, started there when I was um, seven, seven years old. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, what made you, like, just say, okay, it's time for an album now? Um, so, I, I because, okay, so I, I released FYO, and then previously in 2016, I released my first um, EP. Ah. Now, okay. right. So now my EP has four songs on it, and um, some of those songs from the EP will be on the album. Just to give you know some teasers, um, I had you know I had some really good producers. Sunny Digital produced my um, one of the nice. tracks. Young Lane um, produced one of the tracks. So nice. I, you know I had really big producers on it, and um, and those songs you know are already available on all online distribution. But that was kind of like my Birth until E Morgan, my birth until R and B. I mean, from gospel to R and B and pop. Okay. Did you change your name? I did. I did change my name. Okay. Well, I did, your... well, I changed my name, but I didn't change my name because my name is my name. Ah. I have two. I have two middle names. So I. So it's just my middle name, and I flipped it backwards to make ah. me E Morgan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool deal. So, how many songs you got uh, done from the album, and have you so, been testing them out to a live audience? I have, I have. So, I um, so my goal, the goal of me and my team is to have twelve songs. Okay. For the um album, right now we have about eighteen to twenty, but we have to, of course, narrow it down to the best twelve, you know, songs. I have been testing them um, at different open mics, at different shows, um, stuff like that. And I have been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of positive feedback from the songs. Like, 
somebody came to me and said, what can I get this song tonight? And I mm. said, it's not, it's not available tonight. And then every time I let, you know, you know, certain friends or my background singers, you know, hear a little snippet of the album, let me, let me give y'all a little snippet because the people would matter anyway, you know, which, right. they, they let you know it was good. Everybody says, why, why this song? Not? I love FYO. Why this mm. song not out? Why this song not out? Why well, this all night out? And I'm just like, it's, it's patience. It's coming. It's coming. At the end of the year, Snakes in the Garden is going to hit. I promise you. And people are not going to understand because it's going to be an album where you can go to, you can listen, and you can be, you can hit every genre. But you won't feel too far off. You know? Mm-hmm. You'll still get that radio friendly. You'll still hear that repetitive hook. You'll still be, you know, some kind of way you'll be, you'll sing it once the song go off. And that's what I want my album to be. And I want it to be, you know, upbeat. You know, I don't want it, you know, too slow songs. I want people to be up, upbeat, uplifted, and, you know, and elevated. Definitely. Are you feeling any kind of pressure right now? Pressure? Mm, mm, no, not really. I'm not because, you know, music, music is the only thing that I do in life that I don't feel the essence of time. You know, I do a lot of things in life and I'm just like, all right, when is this going to be over? But music is the only thing I can sit and I can do all day long, and I can never get tired of it. So no pressure at all. I'm, I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm, I'm hyped. I'm like amped. I'm amped because I'm ready for like when I did my first EP and people listened to it, they was like, wow, you know, wow. We did not know. And every song that they heard, it was like, I can hear that on the radio. I can hear that on the radio. I can hear yeah. that on the radio. So I'm wow. just really ready to birth this album for people can really hear everything that D. Morgan can do. Yes, sir. For you personally, why did you choose FYO to be like first on the market? Um, FYO, I chose to be first on the market because I feel like I had to, like I told you before, I had to live that title. Like I mm. really had to. And people, when people, when I performed that song on stage, you know, I only had to tell people, yeah, I, I wrote that song. I do. They said, we can tell. We can just tell from your whole aura on stage. Like, you mean this. You mean you're not going to let people's opinions and fears dictate your decisions. I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean that. I had to stamp that motto. You know what I'm saying? Forget your opinions. Because a lot of people, I believe, go through that where they have, they want to do something in life, but they go to so many people for approval. You know, mm-hmm. um, you know, I should, you think I should do this? And they put their fears. Oh, well, I wouldn't do it because of this. But then you got to understand, we two separate people. Right. What works for you might not work for, you know, might not work for me. So I, I was to the point where I'm just like, why, why listen to that? Who, who, who going to get any further in life if you listen to that? So I had to go to FYO to get your opinions, and I had to live it. I had to put a model stamp on it because I want to live it. And I, whoever going through the same thing, I want them to hear that song and I want them to live their best life so they can see their best outcome. You're right, right. And you can't yeah. ask opinions of someone who isn't chasing a dream. Exactly, because you're can't not going to get that. what you to hear the right thing. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. That's right. Man, so many people just let their dreams slip, man, because they're looking for validation and the people who they're looking for the validation from are not even credible to give it. Right. So, Exactly. They're not even giving the ticket. Yeah. <laughs> like my man E. Morgan sings F Y O. Sir. Yes, sir. Man, what's the heaviest blues real life down in the dirt experience that you've brought into your music? Tell us a story, my brother. We're listening. Um Okay, so like I said, a lot of my songs on my album is, is directed to love. Now, I had, like I said, I don't do a lot of slow songs on my album, but I do have one slow song that I want people to really like calm down and really focus on. And this, this was a situation where I was in five years um, in a relationship where it's real toxic. Um, you know, just to be real honest, I feel like, you know, I was in an insecure state where I let, you know, people do whatever they wanted. And I just, I stayed because I felt like that's all I was worth, you know? Mm-hmm. And I stayed through everything. And I talk about the song, like I talk about the beginning. Because, you know, at the beginning of a relationship, it's always that beginning life. You know what I'm saying? I like you, I like you. But when that light leaves and that love got to sustain, what, you know, what's the next step? And then that goes into the verse two where it talks about, all right, now things get worse. You start doing stuff, but I forgive you because that's what you do. But then you're, you know, then it becomes habit. You know what I'm saying? Inconsistency becomes habit. And then it comes like, oh, you know, so then I had to write a song 
about that. So that was like one of the biggest things in my life to kind of help me become the person I am, kind of mold me to be stronger. And that track is called Stay. And I'm trying to tell you, it's crazy. It has like a live feel. So you have to be real intimate with that. Definitely. Okay. Yes, sir. I love it. So Nas said, there's no idea under, under the sun that is original. Uh, so my question to you is, how difficult is it to come up with something unique uh, for your genre, which is kind of uh, EDM, pop, or R&B, as far as sound or cadence can go? Mm, um, I don't, I don't really think it's hard. Um, like I said, I've always written like radio friendly songs, even when I was writing gospel music. Like my songs were like that, and I, I just feel like I've never went to a place where. I've been compared. Like, if I was compared, I was compared to, like, multiple, uh, multiple um, artists. Like, you have a little bit of him, and a little bit of him, and a little, maybe a little bit of him, a little bit of him, but I, I wouldn't say that you could put me in a category just because of the fact that I have so many different genres, and, and I can accurately do those genres well. Like, you, you know you can... Somebody can go in a different genre and might not do it accurately, but I can go and do an aria and kill it like I was a classical singer, like I never did pop a day in my life. <laughs> so it's like I'm, I'm able to do certain things like that. So, you know, hearing my music, you're going to hear that, and you're not going to really hear that in a lot of different artists. So when you hear me, you're going to know it. it's a different sound. Yeah. Okay. Um... Do you think it's even possible to make music anymore without people having an immediate comparison to another band or artist making like a similar sound? Um, I definitely think it's possible. Um, I know a lot of I know technology is really helping out these days with a lot of mm -hmm. things, <laughs> with a lot of things. But I believe that it's still it's still ways to break that so people can know that the real talent that's within. Yep. Wow. <laughs> so a little us, insight, a little insight. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> us music journalism types, well, we always like to find a way to ask about who's influenced your music, you know, blah blah mm -hmm. blah. But we won't do that. We're gonna take it a little further. Uh, I want to know about some of those names that influenced you or helped you when you went to, or you, when you went in the studio to record a song. Um. Let's see. Um, well, like the artists that you know influenced me. Um, I guess they influenced me to a certain extent, but I never go so far where they would influence me in the booth. Just because I always uh, they influenced me just to be creative, but never influenced me to to be like, ooh, I could do a beat like that, or I could do a song like that. You know, it always just influenced me just to be creative, but I always want to be original so when I get in the booth it's kind of like it's totally original like I still have like I, it's a gospel artist in my head that I still you know look up to so when I get in the studio they give me a, a certain poise you know about me so it's like I still have different you know different artists that do influence me but when I get in the booth I really just try to get people like oh, the whole E. Morgan experience mm. nice so tell me about like taking your music to the stage how have some uh, of how your influence or artists and the way they come about on their own live shows help guide you in doing what you personally do on stage um i believe that it it, it, it helps me like be professional about it um it helps me like kind of know what i'm doing and like i said like be, doing this since the age of seven years mm -hmm. old um you know i opened i opened up for a lot of artists you know starting at the age seven temptations the in vogue james brown the president twice james earl jones tim reed like i've opened up for a lot of people so i've got to see that on a professional level at the age seven mm -hmm. you know so you know being backstage singing showtime costume all that i've seen that you know since a little boy so it's like I just try to try to instill that now, even with the classical, going on tour, going over overseas twice. Like I try to keep all those elements to try to birth who I am now. Dope. You got any live shows coming up? 
Um, live shows coming up. So I have one um, in LA in July. I'm still waiting for all the dates. But if you would have asked me that a couple of days ago, I should have ran you down a list. Of, <laughs> I had a, um, I was in North Carolina. I had to um, sing for the North Carolina A. Phillip um, Banquet. Um, I had to sing at Patchwork. Um, show. Um, I had to sing at Fame Expo with um, Chrissy Collins. Um, and then yesterday, I performed at the Royal Peacock for their first fashion show. Nice. Yes, yeah, so I had to open up with FYL. So that was just on yesterday. Definitely. All right. We're working. So, yes, sir. I love that, man. Working, working, <laughs> working. So personally, after listening to your music, I have to say it's really that classical, uh, classically training, training part of uh, aspect of your voice that seems to set you apart from the rest out there. But that's my own impression. Uh, what do you feel are the strong defining qualities in your music that would allow listeners to pick you out from an entire random playlist of songs without seeing your name attached to it? Um, I think that my song is one it's very 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 catchy very catchy once you hear it you're going to want to sing it once it go off you know and, and I think another thing about my song too is, is the lyrics once you hear for instance once you hear FYO the, the title might mean you know forget your opinions you know but it's still you know a positive song so it kind of throw you off and it kind of gives you like the feeling of I would say like Pharrell happy but in a whole, a whole different light, a whole different light. Definitely. Okay. So what do you think, or of course you, you already know this, but what does an E. Morgan song has to include in order for you to be happy with it? <laughs> what it has to include, so let me tell you, my friends are with me and I go in the studio. Mm -hmm. um, so what I do, my normal routine, when I leave the studio, I don't listen to the song that night. Cause mm. I feel like we're the most we critique ourselves the most when we hear it that same day, hearing it over and over again. So I give my ears a rest, and I give a two day break, and the next two days I listen to it. And if I listen to it, and I'm like, I right, play it again. Now I know I can work with it and I can build off it if it's not already done. If I hear it and I'm like, mm, nah, that, then I know it ain't right. And I know, and and I I I, I love good music. I I love great artists. So it's like if I. I know what I love to hear in my ears, and if I can't produce that and like that, then I ain't gonna go with it. Definitely. All right, guys, after the music break, it'll be time for our usual tradition. It is called the hot seat. We're going to put E. Morgan in our hot seat. And our hey. fans love this part of the segment, of course, along with the actual interview. But the audience get to hear uh, E. Morgan either provide us with some vocals, poem, inspirational speech, spoken word, freestyle rap, joke, story, or even crank out a live instrument. You never know if these creative minds and vessels will produce in a when we come back, we'll find out if E. Morgan has what it takes to be put on the spot, a test for oh, true yeah. artistry, and maybe even some hidden talents. But right now, we have his song, F-Y-O. Hey, guys, we'll be right back. Hey, do you want to introduce this song before we play it? I can't. That's fine. Everybody, this is my brand new hot single produced by DJ AWOL, F-Y-O, which means to get your opinion. Check it out. Well, okay, I got a little something to say, yeah It made me feel some type of way But it's okay, so we moving on now I must admit, this model is a tad bit shady But the music been the drive for us lately But it's okay, so we moving on now Still arise, why? But listen to me well, F-Y-O Such a feeling when it gets so cold Sirens ringing when you need someone, A. When you need someone, A. F-Y-O Such a feeling when it gets so cold Sirens ringing when you need someone, A. When you need someone, A. Listen to me well, F-Y-O, such a feeling when it gets 
E. Morgan, everybody, with the song FYO. You hear the skills? I know you heard the skills. You gotta have heard the skills. Man, dude is tight. Dude is tight. And the video is out right now. Make sure you catch it. The link is in so, so click, click away. I wouldn't mind if you deviate away from this interview to go check out the music video. But make sure you do it at some point today. That is my word. Doubt will stop you cold. You are what you think you are. You do what you think you can do. When you doubt that it can be done, it won't happen for you. When you go to sleep and dream, anything is possible. In your dreams, you can fly. You can hold conversations with people who have long since left your life. You can move forward or backwards through time. In your dreams, you have no doubt. And in your dreams, you can do anything that you can imagine. What if your waking life had the same absence of doubt? Think of the things that would be possible. Just say no to doubt. Your doubts are all in your mind and you can control your mind. When doubts come to the surface, send them away. Focus your mind on other more positive thoughts. Crowd out your doubt. Take control of your doubt before it has a chance to take control of you. You are definitely capable. You are worthy. You are deserving. You can do it. Have faith. Know that you are able to overcome any obstacle. See yourself accomplishing your goals. Visualize them. Feel what that would be like. Uh, if, if you have a dream house, visualize yourself in that dream house. Make the experience real and you'll know you can do it. Take that from me, Denny Mussolini. That is my word and word is bond. Let's bring the man of the hour back on. E. Morgan, you're now back live with us in our hot seat. What do you have for us? Yeah. Um I guess I can do a little something from the, um one of my first covers that I did. Um as e. Morgan um is on YouTube, so I guess I can do that. Okay, cool deal. We'll take All it. Right. <clears throat> All right. Turn down the light. Turn down the day. Turn down these voices. Inside my head, lay down with me. Tell me no lie. Just hold me close. Don't patronize. Don't patronize. Cause I can't make you love me if you don't. And you can make your heart feel something it won't. Cause here in the dark, in these final hours, I will lay down my heart. And feel the power if you want. No, you won't. <laughs> Isn't that something? Man, guys, that's, that's what you call <laughs> talent. That's no machines, no effects, no strings attached. No auto tune, no none of that. None of that. Raw vocals, my baby. <laughs> Raw. And you heard them live right here. Right here. Man, man, that was dope, bro. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, let everybody know where they can connect with you at. E Morgan Music everywhere. You can follow me on my website at www.emorganmusic.com. That's IG, Twitter, E Morgan Music. You can follow me on Facebook at E Morgan Official. And if you want to see the hot new single FYO official video, all you have to do is type on YouTube E Morgan F. Why? Oh, boom, it's going to pop up. And I promise you, it's going to bless you. Bam. Nice. And guys, just in <laughs> case you didn't get those links, I put them all in the description of this episode. So all you have to do is click the links. Thank me later. I did all the hard work for you guys. Don't worry mm. about it. All right, my brother. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. 
All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab that from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, any app that's on a Google Play or iTunes store, or our website. And that goes from every single episode that we've ever aired. If you'd like to request music or a particular guest or send something for me to play, email it to vradio at onlyonemediagroup.com. If it's music, please label it by artist and title. Here's my disclaimer. We are genre free. We do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay, but facts alone. And actually, you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right. That's the bottom line. This is my show. So deal with it. Nah, just kidding. On behalf of myself, Danny Mussolini, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, as well as Spricker. We always follow back. That is the number one rule. Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely great at just doing that. Avoid being too comfortable because you're messing with your potential when you do that. Peace and have a good night. And now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive.